Mano a mano, which means hand uh, in hand in Spanish, is an organization that Joan and I created back in 1994. Our initial intent was to recycle medical surplus from this country. We knew that there was a lot that was being discarded here and get it to Bolivia where it really literally can make the difference between life and death for many patients there. Our mission is to create partnerships with impoverished Bolivian communities and everything we do is through that partnership framework. So it ranges from shipping supplies from here in the Twin Cities to building clinics and schools, water reservoirs. We have an aviation emergency rescue program. We're very interested in helping more communities do more projects that we already do. And our first goal always is to make sure that the things we've already built are still in operation. I think that the primary lesson that we have learned, and that's really important for anyone else who does this kind of work, is that you have to immerse yourself in the culture, you have to understand, you really have to be able to speak the language, but it's beyond that. You have to understand the culture, you have to be able to listen, and you have to know what you're hearing when you listen. It's kind of a follow lead, follow lead, follow lead, step-by-step -step process that you go through. It's their project ultimately, so always making sure there's community buy-in, community ownership. Whatever country you're working in, how that looks changes, so we can't really speak to anywhere outside of Bolivia. But the basic concept of involving the community and having them be one of the main drivers for their own programs is really one of the most important things. All people deserve to be treated with dignity. Everyone deserves to have an opportunity to reach his or her full potential. We are most fulfilled as human beings when we are doing something that contributes to the well-being of someone beyond ourselves.